We've heard a lot over the past several months about the issues with the city's 911 dispatch system. Part of the problem is hiring enough dispatchers. It's been a big problem here. Alex Fees is actually live this morning as the city takes positive steps to solve delay times when calling 911. What can you tell us, Alex? Mercedes and Rennie uh, city officials updated that situation recently. Longtime fire department administrator Charles Coyle was selected for that role, a public safety director. When we began this process, we were 50 dispatchers short. Coyle says in his mind, 911 dispatchers are first responders. Over the past several months, people have complained about being put on hold when dialing 911 in the city. In January, husband and father of three, Richard Slushing, died in his car at the St. Louis intersection after accidentally shooting himself in the leg. 911 was the last number he dialed from his cell phone. Phone records show no one answered. In July, 33-year-old Catherine Cohen died after a tree fall in her car during severe weather in the Grove neighborhood. Witnesses say repeated calls to 911 when unanswered on that occasion over about 30 minutes during a very busy time due to severe weather. Coyle says the city is in the process of hiring additional dispatchers. Do you know what the wait time is currently right now? Our, our wait time has improved overall. I think at 0 to 10 seconds, we're right around 65% now. And that has improved. Um, we're right in the 80, high 80 percentile within a minute. Okay, so those are improving. And I expect them to improve even more as we get the trainees into a position to operate. Coyle says dispatchers, EMS dispatchers that is, can start working on their own after five months of training. For police dispatchers, that training takes eight months. Live this morning outside City Hall, Alex Fees, 5 on your side.